Oh, hey there. How's it going? <laughs> Weird. Now you're up there. Last time, we, we're, we're still playing with angles, but last time you were up there. You're here. We don't really have very good lighting tonight, and mainly because I made that and I want to show it off. And in my opinion, it looks pretty fucking cool. Just going to say. Yep. I have bigger, better ideas in my head, and I will be enacting those. Uh, just not right now. They're actually probably going to be cheaper than that was. Maybe. And that was pretty damn cheap. <laughs> Holy pop-up, Batman. Let's see. We got a few people. We got Jesse waiting in the background, popping in with the sub. What's up, Salia? How we doing? Three Gs popping in. Popping in three times. He's in the... Yeah, you guys are in the nosebleed section now. Yeah. I will, All I literally have to do is just lift a tile and move that but i'm not gonna do it right now <clears throat> because it hides my wire dangling from the ceiling very nicely yes <laughs> i just hope the camera doesn't crap out yet because i'd have been on sooner but the camera was crapping out <laughs> well let's see facebook user what's up uh mike austin's in the house says hello down there how's it going it's like being at a, a concert. Kind of. For them. Yeah. It's like, hi, everybody in the back. Yeah. Kind <laughs> of. Uh, anyways. So what's, uh, what's everybody been doing? I've, I've been following along. I just, just, uh, I've been busy, man. It's yeah. like brunch time at work. I say that, but still make TikToks. Yeah. I actually recorded quite a bit of footage. I just haven't put them on the YouTubes yet. And I think the last one I did only got like three views. So I'm like, yeah, you see why I just don't. Um, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Mike says it's actually how I kind of look at you two already. I mean, no, this is true. Dude, you are not that goddamn tall. He's <laughs> He's a good enough He's like height. Four inches taller than me. Four inches Clear. is four inches is not. I mean, you're acting like he's this much taller Wait, than me. What did you just say? Four inches is what? If you act like four inches is like not very tall, very so much. What you're saying is four inches is a lot. <laughs> wow. So right out of her mouth. Thank God for that parental advisory that's <laughs> over there in the corner. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. M and C, what's up, buddy? Good seeing you. Says Josh, that bed color match is no bueno. Yeah, we we know. Um, and my reason for doing that was because the truck is wrapped, anyways. Uh, mm -hmm. So. The bed's going to be wrapped. You're not even going to know it's red. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless somebody rips the wrap off. So when it comes time to sell the truck, we're <laughs> I'm probably going to have to paint the bed. <laughs> but we'll worry about that. And fuck, I might be retired by the time that truck goes. Maybe. I don't know. It might rot in half. Maybe. I mean, you saw the, the original bed, right? It is for sale. The Make bed deal, yeah. I'll show that bed. That bed is solid. <laughs> Nathan Hubby, what's up, Nathan? How you doing? Oh man, no, I missed being on. I missed you guys. I try to catch up in, in some of the chats, but I just I don't always make it on. Uh, we started darts back up on Tuesday, so that pretty much by the time I get home on a Tuesday night, you do not want me in a chat room. Uh, you just don't. <laughs> that's no worse than Friday nights, I guess, really. <laughs> well, that's true. But, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> solid as a marshmallow. That one's more like jello. But <laughs> you should have seen when I, I should have took video when we actually lifted the bed 
and the bed skins just kind of fell off. <laughs> it just that bed was. I'm surprised that half of that bed didn't fall off driving down the road. I'm just really surprised. Well, it made it. It made it the season. That was all we needed it to do, and we got a new bed. I found the only bed in Indiana that was worth buying. It was down in southern Indiana, uh, and came off of a wrecked three quarter ton. And I tell you what, man, that bed is clean. I mean, there's a little damage because, you know, front end collision. But compared to some of the beds we've got, that bed is smoking hot. I love it. Well. And the bed rails are solid. You can tell that came from the south. Whatever happened to it, it came from the south. Um, or it came from the extreme west. I doubt it came from the west. It had to be the south because it was a lifted three-quarter ton Chevy. They don't have those out west, I don't think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it it the the bed rails, I, the bed that I I think the years are different because the truck I put it on was 2010. No, no, I take it back. That came off of a 12 or something. Anyways, way better condition. So that bed ought to last us quite a while. Um, so Fish Fam Link came in. What's up, Fish Fam Link? How you doing? How you doing? Good seeing you. And it looks like Canisteo Valley Cichlids was the Facebook user. Oh. They said, I felt so alone on the Facebook feed, so moved over. Well, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> see, uh, well, welcome, first of all. And uh, it all it comes across is is Facebook user on here on Streamyard. Unless you site, yes. unless you go, there's a link you can click somewhere, and it allows you to show who you are on Facebook. We yeah. won't know, right? Uh, I I won't know until after it's over. So right. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I could watch it on my phone, and then we have audio problems, and we, and then we, we just, lots of you annoying don't want me feedback. Pushing buttons and, right now. No. Um, not during this. No. We all know what happens when I push buttons during a live stream. Right. Usually unlives it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just been a, been a crazy, it's crunch time. April 1st is coming and that's when they plan on rolling those trucks out. So my butt's just been in gear. Um, still trying to keep up the side work and get the, uh, get all the company stuff ready to go. So may have to, may have to put a halt on some side work for a couple days. I don't know yet. Cause this new truck we got, she's a beauty. Yeah. It is a pretty truck. Um, <laughs> but it needs literally everything, uh, everything underneath of it. Yeah. yeah. It needed it probably, <laughs> I don't know. The truck's in 08. This stuff probably needed replaced in 09. And we'll just put it that way. Either that or they should have pulled it out of the swamp they drove it into. But it's okay. I'll fix it. Yeah. Not the first time I've had to replace a fuel tank cross member. Right. <laughs> oh. Or upper control arms and lower control arms and struts and shocks and fuel lines and fuel hoses and it breaks. That's common. We know that. Um. Okay. So yeah. I do push. I I do push buttons a lot. Yeah. I like to push buttons. Um. Fact. I guess we can address three G's comment. I was going to wait just a little bit before I did say anything, but. For any of you that are in here that don't already know, um, Myrtle Singh, who was a huge part of the Fish Fan community, passed away on March 16th. He was 21. He was a phenomenal member of the Fish Fan. He was a talented musical composer. He loved fish keeping. He was just an all-around great guy. Um and he passed away on the 16th. We don't know why. We'll probably never know why, but that's not our business. Um, 
but a lot of people in the fish fam right now, our hearts are hurting. And I definitely miss seeing him in people's live streams. So, yeah. He was a cool guy. He had a big, he was such big, a cool kid. big heart. He was great. I'm not going to say was, though. I don't ever say was. He's still with us. He's still with all of us. Just not the way we know, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's that's a huge that's a huge loss though. That is a very much so very unexpected and huge loss. And our hearts go out to his family, his family, um, and loved ones. And and just I hope they know that he's got a lot of people pulling for him. They have a lot of people pulling for him. So they're actually I don't have access to it right now. I don't know if anybody in the chat does. Um, but if anybody has the link to his legacy memorial online that you can share within the chat so that if anybody wants to go on and leave a comment for his family, I know that they have been very appreciative to learn how much he meant in the community. So, um, yeah, if anybody has it, cool. If you, if you don't have it, but if you do and you can share it within the chat, I know I would appreciate it. So it, it's, uh, I don't, it's never easy. There's, yeah. It's never easy and nothing anybody says can make it easier. It's just, it, it, it sucks. Um, Sucks more when they're that when a person is as young as Myrtle, and this happens. Um, thank you, Stephen P. There is the guest book. If you guys feel so inclined to go on there, maybe share some memories of chatting with Myrtle in other live streams, anything like that. Um, his family is seeing those, so just send some love. Let him know, hey. You know, Send some love. It just, I don't, I didn't, <laughs> there's I just not I a lot even, to say. I don't even know what to say because what can you say? You really, you I know? yeah. Um, just we're it's a sad loss, and we're all going to miss him. But on that same coin, think of all the fun times that you had hanging out with him, either in chat or. Or when he was on somebody's live, or you know, we, yeah. we we had plenty of plenty of good those of you of that were experiences with them, yeah. And man, just it, it's I'm and gonna miss him, but he's he's still with us, you know. I it's know there are a lot of people insane. that actually um, won some of the compositions that he was auctioning off around like Fish Fam Christmas time and stuff. So, I. Uh, Keep those close to you, man, because that's really awesome. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> Got a little dark there for a second, oh. guys, but we keep in just, yeah. Keep Myrtle's family in your just, thoughts or, you know, however you do that. Just let him know that. Let him know how much Myr Myrtle was loved and how much we miss him for sure. Garcia made it in. What's up, brother? Oh, wait. I can't do that. Too. I know. I am like... I'm trying to... Sorry, we were... Uh, I'm trying. Just bear with me. It, it's been a minute, too. So I, I gotta do this, though. Gar! Gar! Garcia Aquatics here! Hello. Up, <laughs> uh, Stephen P, welcome. And he, thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah. Uh, Caprice, what's up, Caprice? How you doing? I am trying to do this left-handed, and I am not a lefty. Yeah. Speaking of lefty, where's he? I'm not sure. Freaky Fish Lady. What's up, Freaky Fish Lady? How we doing? Hello. Yep. So I know. Yeah. Oh, man, it just it's a 
I don't want to drag everybody down, but it was, it, I found out while I was at work the other day. And I it was, did too. <laughs> I cried I while crying. I was at work. I cried in front of my coworkers and it's really hard to explain to coworkers a situation yeah. like that, but some people get it and some people don't. And it's it anymore. Anymore. I, well, with a, with a, with a select few, I usually don't talk about things work anymore. Right. Um, just because nobody gets it half the time. Right. It's not their fault. It's just they don't know. But yeah, definitely gonna miss the guy. But like I said, he's he's still he's still there. I have some live streams. In fact, I think we had him on or we were on with him. Possibly. I know there was an auction. Yes. I think he was I think he was with us on it and we had a blast on that. Yeah. Oh no, no, he wasn't with us, but we auctioned his uh music. His music. We auctioned one of his compositions for the Fish Fam Christmas. Yeah. Everybody went crazy for that. Oh yeah. Uh, that was a real fun it was. Uh, that was probably next to the Moonlight Mayhem streams I've done. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite streams that I've done was when we did that, uh, when we did that auction for, uh, Benet. That's yeah. what it was. Yep. And that was just a blast. I had, I had a lot of fun until she started bidding against herself. <laughs> oh yes. Too much of, uh, you know that it happens. and she started bidding against herself i wanted the <laughs> you guys want to go back and watch that one you can see my face in that it's it's great <laughs> yeah uh mike austin says tell your dad congrats for quit smoking i will do that yes he uh he 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 quit yesterday and uh he's well he's made it 20 20 probably 26 or more hours now yep he's in he's he's seeing why we stopped yeah but you know again they did something like that it some people may say well that's just trading one thing off for another um and you're not wrong but when you get a cardiologist telling you the dangers with smoking versus the dangers with vaping vaping the dangers are this big smoking you know that whatever it kind of makes you think hmm okay and you know what if that gets you to quit doing it you can always wean off of that yeah and it's way easier to wean off of one of these than a box of smokes trust me uh, i did it for a year and a half and then i had my little oopsie and then i went back to it you all know that i'm not hiding it uh and i've been vaping since november 8th of last year so mainly because i medically got told i have to so yeah but that's neither here nor there Right. But he's doing good with it, and I hope he keeps doing good with it because, hey, <laughs> it's nice not being tied down to a box and a lighter. Yeah. It is nice. It's nice not catching a whiff of your hand or your clothes, your beard, your hair, your clothes, or right. you know, it, your car. Yeah. Uh, nobody smokes in my car, or I shoot them. But ain't nobody ever going to smoke in my truck. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's nice. Though. Mike said, I've tried to quit and found out I'm a bigger asshole without nicotine. I mean, I think we've all honestly been there and his dad has tried the gum, the patches, the, I mean, you name it, he has tried it. And so far he has been successful on the vaping. So, you know, if we can transition him from that to weaning down and off of that, cool yep. um and you know 
this comment here. I've been told I'm a bigger asshole without nicotine. Me too. Aren't we all, though? I quit cold turkey for a week, and my boss said, you need to go get back cigarettes. Yeah. Because you're irritating the shit out of me. And I was like, I'm irritating the shit out of you? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Hold up. Right. <laughs> so, no, I mean, it can be done, though. Um, Mike said, I tried to vape and couldn't do it. So, I mean, we do the views, which is essentially vaping, but it's not like those big, annoying, you know, I'm going to blow out a mushroom cloud of whatever. Um, right. And That's, again, everybody is different. Well, like I said, yes, you're just trading one for the other. The nice thing about doing those is you're pretty much just getting the nicotine. You're not getting the You're tobacco getting and all the other chemicals. The yeah. 40,000 other chemicals in it. Um, Ooh, MNC says, I'm going cold turkey, so I'll be a real joy to be around. Yeah. You got support, brother. You got support. Oh, Ooh. no. Lumpy Dog, it wasn't necessarily him irritating me it was him irritating his boss because he's <laughs> essentially around his boss more than he is me so i really only had to deal with him at night and that's why there are separate rooms in the house well, and then the other <laughs> thing we found out was once i started getting on blood pressure medication i wasn't mm. such an asshole anymore right be whiz in the house i i, I let me just reinstate if i need to be an asshole i am well yeah but i'm not as high strung i guess of an asshole right. as i once was right maybe that i don't know that probably didn't work either well you know whatever <laughs> what's up b whiz how we doing brother good seeing you hi lumpy what's up by the <laughs> way yeah <laughs> jeez sorry it's been a while since i've done this <laughs> also that part yeah mm -hmm. i don't know we just thinking about popping on here for uh, maybe an hour or so and then who knows we might just if this charges up anytime soon we might just jump on the ticky tock and see what's going on over there i don't know yeah. maybe maybe not it, it is what it is Oh, Freaky Fish Lady said, my father-in-law asked me to quit smoking right before he passed. I had only smoked for eight years, and I just quit cold turkey. I, that's, that's I good. literally commend you for that, because yeah. I have tried the cold turkey thing. It doesn't work for everybody. Mm, no. Some people can, though. Yeah. Some people can do it. Absolutely. Um, some definitely can. Some can. Some can. I am not one of those that can. No. Uh, I wasn't able to either. Uh, your mom could. My mom literally your mom did, would smoke for several years and then like, quit for several done. years. Like, yeah. I never understood and, that. Yeah, I'm going. How in the hell do you do that? Right. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do it. You know, I quit for three hours and I'm ready to string one of you bastards up. That is literally no joke. <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry, guys. Did you just hit my microphone? I did. <laughs> Um, Mike says, smoking is my last vice. I've been sober for 11 years from drinking and don't have anything else to occupy my time. Really, I'll feel lost. So find a hobby. I mean, and I'm not even trying to be a smart ass, but like one of the last, when I quit smoking and went to like the views thing, I had a really rough time with it. So I went into like diamond painting and picked up crocheting again. Is that what that thing is? Yes. Um, the, the it's not really painting. Harry Potter, well, they call it diamond painting, but, but whatever. Painting. Um, I went into that and crochet, which obviously I, uh, be called diamond a dude isn't going to want to do either one of those things more than likely, but I found finding something to keep your hands busy helps you not think about that as much. Six, but I smoke weed occasionally. Well, you know, nice. We're not discussing the no. elevation factor. We're just right. discussing the nick. It's okay to be elevated every now and again. Mike says, "Big boy." Oh wow! 
<laughs> MNC says, Josh, take up knitting. I would, I don't even know how to knit. So if he took up knitting, I would probably be kind of jealous because I crochet, I but I don't know how to knit. I would knit custom fit banana hammocks for myself. Okay. But what I'm saying is like for a guy, you know, woodworking of some kind, build it, models. It's really easy to make it. I just. <laughs> anyway. You ever tie a shoelace around your finger? It'd be pretty much the same. What I'm trying to say is some kind of hobby that keeps your hands and mind busy. So I do model building. I don't yeah. <laughs> build models, or woodworking. Just make random crap like that. Yeah. Just it's it's basically just trying to find something to keep your mind and your hands busy. You know how long that sign took to make? 20 minutes. Right. With a plasma cutter. Freaky fish lady said, Will your hammocks be online? I mean, I can put them on. They're only going to be about like one size, probably fits most, maybe ish. They'll be a, I should market them. We'll call them May Hammocks. Oh my God. <laughs> so good. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to learn how to knit. If you learn how to knit before I do, we're going to have a problem. But anyway. I'm going to make um, my hammocks. Mike said, my best hobby was drinking and I quit. Maybe I'll take up playing video games again. Okay, but see, depending on the video game, because I know how he gets, that might not be good, bro. That might, like, piss you off even more and make you want cigarettes even more. Like, oh, no. he will literally be down here playing a game on his phone or up there playing a video game and start no. cussing and want to throw them. I will them. sit here like this with a controller in my hand. Uh, Damn it. Fuck this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I will rage quit. Uh, MNC said after Dad passed, Mom started teaching a crochet class so it keeps her busy. Yes. And... I mean, that's awesome. Crocheting is something that my mom taught me when I was like eight years old. And I still, to this day, I, every I now and then will get in the mood and crochet stuff. Crochet um, Isn't Mike, knitting and crochet the same thing? No, it is not. Um, yarn and sticks. Uh, no, it is not. I will fight you over this. <laughs> Mike said his hammocks will be for sale for a short time. <laughs> uh me too. <laughs> um, also, Liquid Zoo, Matt just came in. Probably won't sell that well in winter. Uh, Jesus. Then you gotta line them or they sweat. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How's it Hi, going, Matt? Matt? <sighs> we're, we're, we're talking about our new line of May Hammocks coming out. No, his new line, because I that ain't me. <laughs> nope. No. Um... <laughs> Mike says, are you guys going to do a bowling league again? Maybe I can uh, do that. Yeah. Bowling, no. We do darts now. Um, we could teach you how to throw darts, though. We do darts on Tuesday night. Um, it's literally only in one place every Tuesday. If I, if I start bowling again, I will probably cry like a little girl because right. my shoulder officially ripped out of its socket. That part. <laughs> But darts, I'm good at somewhat. I was actually pretty good Tuesday night. I don't think we did terrible. We didn't, do we didn't win. We lost by two games. Ooh, two whole games. So, well, seven to five. Yeah. yeah. We lost by two games. So, I mean, first time in two years, and we only lost by two games. If, mm -hmm. if she would have won two games, we'd have been fine. Right. Kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, Mike, it's at Break and Run. So it's every Tuesday night at Break and Run. I think it starts at 7 or 7.30. Yeah, 7. 7. Um, I mean, this... this uh, we're not doing that kind of line, Matt. No. The season just started um, mm -hmm. for, I guess they would call it the spring. Or is it the is it uh, spring season? I don't know. It would be the spring season, yeah. 
Um, but it's, I think it's only like 10 weeks and then they'll take like a week or two off and then start it back up again. So, but that's what we do. We don't do the bowling. We haven't done the bowling in years. We've been doing the darts. No, I actually, I got more rid of, consistently. I gave, uh, I gave Eric all my bowling stuff. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure I just gave it to him. So I couldn't do it. I mm -hmm. tore my rotator years ago and then. It got to where I started bowling really good. And then as far back as I need to bring my arm back and the weight I was rolling or throwing is pretty much throwing it at that point. It just, it started, things started grinding. Right. And pain, lots of oh. pain and swelling. So he said, I just want to hang out with you guys, really. Well, well damn, dude, out. we're in the same place that we've been in. I mean, the last time you came over, we we can um, hang out anytime, though. I mean, on the weekend. run isn't. Well, where he lives, eh, it's not a bad run for him. He doesn't have to worry about driving home drunk. So, yeah. Right. I mean, so you got that going. We're we just Uber. We're right. Because we're, I learned. We're down to hang out like on the weekends, though, as long as we don't have anything going on. And, you know, if you ever wanted to come and just chill with us on a Tuesday when we're playing darts, you can. Yeah, you're more than But welcome. also keep in mind on a Tuesday when we're playing darts, we do have to focus a lot on that. So. Oh, yeah. No, it's uh, it, you. You're more than welcome to come and hang out, though. You don't have to play. Uh, and if you ever said, "Hey, man, I, this looks interesting. I kind of want to learn how," then we'll be more than happy to show you. Yeah, you wouldn't be the first friend of mine I've showed how to throw darts. Uh, no, so, not at all. Yeah, but, not uh, at all. Yeah. It, it's a fun time. Um, all around, it's just a fun time. It's it's nice to, you know, after two years of having to stay secluded, watch my P's and Q's and not go here because I can't, not go there because I can't, maybe, may or may not have gone anyways, but you don't have proof, so you can't prove that. Right. Any who and way, I don't have to do that anymore. Right. So it's nice to just get out and do what we want when we want. Go have fun. You know. Um, and the kids are grown enough now. It's yeah. Whatever. Put a bar in the house and now I'm just trying to get everything situated and everything where I want it. And I still got a ton of work to do. I uh I got a I've got two big builds I want to do, and I doubt I'll do either one of them. Well, <laughs> but you know, I we've cute. got a we've got a pond out back we want to do. I still got to finish the fence, and then I'm going to build a taller section on the other side because I hate those people. And oh my god, you just reminded me I have to get my outdoor pond filled up and and cycling yeah, you again. You got your outdoor pond. So that was a good subject change. You got your outdoor ponds to do. And then I want to build a bigger pond in the basement because I've got a uh, red tail cat over here that's, uh, well, he's he's getting bigger. <laughs> uh, he's a big feller. You know, he, he accidentally <laughs> swallowed it. Well, he didn't accidentally do it. He <laughs> swallowed a shell when I had him over here with Frankie because he wanted the meat inside of it, obviously. And I thought for sure we were going to lose him. Would you believe it or not? But a red-tailed cat can pass a shell. And I mean, we're talking like the size I mean, of a fifty-cent piece. Wasn't a huge shell, but I mean, if you if you scaled down to his size and you had to crap that out, you wouldn't want to do it. Uh, it would hurt. He's doing great. Yeah. So. I got. I, I, I'm leaning towards what do I put my primary focus on this year towards 
kind of want to get a bigger, better pond built in the basement because I got split down there and I'm going to have that monster real soon. He's going to outgrow that 150. Jesse said pooping a Buick, eh? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it could, that had to hurt. <laughs> I mean, he... I mean, there's no way that didn't hurt. He was very bloated for a very long time. He got violated by food. But he's a, he's a happy boy. He's grown probably four or five inches since we've gotten him. Yeah. And... Oh, so, yeah. So all four of those fish that I got on the last fish video that I did, all four of those fish are in that tank. All four of them. The, You're talking about the ones I just wanted to mention? No. Oh. The biker, the pike, the catfish. There was, what was the fourth? Oh, the gar. Jesus Christ, the gar. The gar's picking up size, too. We'll see you later, m and Thanks see for coming in. Um, but we the, also... The gar has picked up size, too. Yes. I don't think that's a Florida gar. Pretty sure that's an alligator. I don't know. Because he's I mean, starting to pick up size like Split did. We're, I mean, we're really not going to know for a while because it took Split a while to become sizable enough to go down into the Yeah, pond. but once he started so, taking off, he took off quick. Yeah. He went from that size to he's damn near three foot now. Right. IHSP! What's up? IHSP, how we doing? I wanted to say Steph. It is. Good. Hi. Um, <laughs> Merrick? My, Mir I'm going to say Merrick, and I hope I'm not Mary completely T, I, botching I, I that. I will botch your name up. I'm sorry, but welcome. Um, We did recently get a few more fish yeah. that are also in that tank. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We've got a... Uh, a beautiful Jack Dempsey in there. He's gorgeous. And two nice, big, plump, juicy, I can't believe I just said that, uh, blood parrots. Mm -hmm. Which, unfortunately, I think the male, they were a mating pair of blood parrots, but I think the male kind of paired up with my red devil. So I might have inadvertently got flower horns. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so Steph says better this week. I don't even want to talk about anything from the last three weeks except that I bought a new vehicle. Hey, me too. I didn't. Well, it's new <laughs> to me. It's not new. It's still a 2002, but I got rid of the fat bottom girl. Yep. And I now have a Chevy Silverado with it's not considered it's a half cab, right? Because it's not a fully extended uh, cab and a half. Cab and a half. There you go. Yeah. It's, um, you can actually fit four adults in it. Yes. <laughs> it's somewhat I, comfortable. What not, I'm trying to say is not I have comfortable. But. I have back seats and I never I mean, yeah. So. But this truck, uh, I actually have the window sticker in the it, the window sticker, the original window sticker. So the guy that we bought the truck off of was the original owner. Yes. He probably should have just sold it to a scrapyard when we got it. Uh, because that thing was beat. And it was in my shop for a week. And now it's a great truck. Yeah. Uh, it really is a great truck. I love it. It's high mileage and I don't care. Uh, if the motor blows up, I know where there's another one. If the tranny blows up, hey, I know yeah. where there's another one. <laughs> so... Not really worried about it. That ought to be a good truck. Uh, but uh, the window sticker. So this guy that ha owned it ordered it with like the luxurious package. I mean, I got leather seats in the these, whole nine, y'all. These y seats are the same seats you would get in an Escalade at the time. Both front seats are power. They've got the lumbar and all sorts of yes. fancy shit. You got armrests. Yes. These are the same seats that you would get in a 2000, uh, what is that, an 02? They, these are the same seats you'd get in anywhere from, uh, 
late 90s to like 03, 04 Escalade. Very same interior. It's uh, it's I mean, great. It, I mean, it's old, but it, it's comfy. Oh, she's a workhorse and I love her. But anyway, <laughs> um, Merrick said, you said it better than me. So I guess right. we're saying the cool. name correctly. I, I don't know. Uh, Daniel Velez popped in. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, brother? Steph says, yes, Miss Lady, and I think ours are both really close to the same color. My boss in goddamn Silverado. You know what? Silverados. Let me tell you about that Chevy Silverado. I love that truck. Let me, I'm telling <laughs> you, the first time after we got it, I went and picked him up from a company meeting. Oh, just like today. Um, My like I did today. Not here. But anyway, um, we were why. we were driving back home, and he could just tell my demeanor and everything sitting in that thing. He was like, "Man, I can tell you love this truck," and I'm like, "Uh, yeah," because first of all, I don't have to manhandle it going down the road because the steering isn't sloppy. I seem to recall saying, "I have to pee really bad." You also said that, <laughs> but anyway, um, Steph says then that's the extended or extra cab, a full size four door on a Chevy is called a crew cab. Yeah. No, this so, is a cab and a half. Yeah. Extended, extra, whatever. Ex extendo. Well, see, I had an extended cab, but I didn't have doors that opened on my ramp. So, yeah, because so these, mine the, is you weird. Can open the, the back doors open. They call them cabin halves. You can, they actually do have four doors, but they don't count them as four doors. No, because, because it's not a handle on the outside. So, like, the passenger has to open their door and then there's a handle on like the side inside of it it's to like open the, it. It's like the predecessor of, I can't remember, I think it was Chevy's where the whole side of the truck would open, the whole side of the cab would yeah. open. Yeah. But Those anyway. Horrible idea. Mike said throw a con Conquest motor in it. No, thank you. No. No, thank you. I would rather ls swap a conquest if i ever get another conquest i'm ls swapping it yeah all day long <laughs> steph says i got a 2014 suburban the color name is crystal red tint hmm. i don't know my color i don't even know my the color code for that truck like i don't burgundy all I know is my title says registration and all that says maroon. We're going to find the color code out real soon when we go to put those rockers on because I'm going to have to have some paint made up. So, uh, Seb says, I think if it's a two-door with four seat, it's extended, and three-door with four seats is called extra. So, again... um. The passenger and driver door, they both can open, and then there's little handles, not really inside of the door, but like once you open the front doors, there's a handle there, and you pull that, and those doors open too. So, or did it too? The back doors can't open unless the front ones are open, if that makes any sense at all. But uh. Ford, there is a the, full bench seat. The early F 150s did the same thing too, where you could open the. Well, even the later ones did it. Right. Uh, where you could. They don't. It, it's for the, those people that didn't want the crew cab, but they wanted four seats. Like, why the hell wouldn't you just spring for the extra money and get the damn crew cab? I mean, it's it's got the full bench seat in the back. That bench can be brought up so that I have storage space in the back or but, for groceries or whatever. What? But it it does have a pretty I would say that's a six and a half foot bed. Ish. The other yeah. truck had an eight foot eight bed. foot, yeah. Um I mean it's a pickup truck. If we need to move stuff it'll do it. Yeah. Um if we want to cruise in it we can. It's not, it's not a big heavy land tank like oh the God. freaking Ram was. The fat bottom girl was uh, the gas mileage on this thing is like I'm that thing real gas going downhill to get to the gas station. Yes, three this, three houses down. 
this thing, I mean. If that gas station ever explodes, we're screwed. It probably. <laughs> <laughs> we have another one the other way, but it's a little bit further of a yeah, distance. Yeah, we wouldn't anyway. feel that one. This one we would. Um. Yeah, no, yeah. I just. I, this truck, I have taken her out on the highway and completely opened her up. Nice. I have. Trust me, I have. But he says I haven't, but he, I have. Anyway. Yeah, you would tell me what the shuts down. I'm not going to open it up to the point where I hit the rev limiter and kill the there motor. Oh, my God. Anyway. Um, Steph kind of reminds me of the old black cherry color. I mean, yeah, mine is kind of, uh, yeah, Tell almost, you opened it up. almost a black cherry, I guess. You got her to 75 miles an hour. Actually, I brought her to 95 Ooh. before I freaked out and Ooh. brought her back down. Didn't but it was, it up. no, it was also extremely Probably windy. It was also extremely windy that you day. Keep in mind, it's a pickup truck, not a freaking race car. That part too. But it was also extremely windy that day. And again, I was on the highway. And by the time I got up to about 90, 95, I was like, well, yeah, we're going to bring her back down. We're going to hit the cruise control and we're just going to, we're going to go. We're just going to go. The, uh, the Harley is going to be making a comeback next week. I have to remember to grab my cover. Mm. Got to get her out and bring her over. And we're going to, I'm going to take the carburetor off of it and get it jetted properly. Since nobody else did it. And uh, maybe now it won't shoot a foot and a half flame out of the back every time I shift. But why? That's so cool. It, yeah, that's except that's for when really I'm on cool, the back of it because I can feel the heat on my ass. I had to take the motor off the bike and rebuild the heads because I was it being a smart them. ass. Well, don't be a smart ass with me. What? Too bad. <laughs> no, but the uh, the fat boy will be uh, hopefully. Well, it's coming out no matter what, uh, whether or not it gets road or pushed is its own decision <laughs> well because it let me tell you that old thing was not happy when i rode it it was not it, the I last two not. times i rode that thing i didn't think i was going to make it back well. uh the that carburetor was just not happy so uh we all, we all, you well, most of you have seen my fat boy. You know, it's, it's, it's got Vans and Heinz straight shot, shot pipes on it. And, uh, it's got a, a super 80 car, but nobody jetted it properly. So it's spitting too much flame, uh, spitting too much fuel. It's not being ignited properly. And it's basically burning out of the tailpipe. Which, yeah, it's a cool light show. It shoots flames. I mean, I've kicked flames that far out behind me. Uh, but that's not what you want. Um, that can cause a lot of damage. Uh, so, I've got a hold of... I finally found someone that can get me the correct jets that I need. Because it's, like, next to impossible to find any information... And get the correct jets, um, you know, unless you're uh, a bike shop, because you're going to have that information. I'm not a bike shop, so it's hard for me, harder for me to come up with the information. But I have found somebody that can, and they said they more than likely have the jet I need. They have the rebuild kit I need. So I'm not a lot of money, and it's not going to take me that long. Because honestly, the carburetor on a Harley is not much different than the carburetor on a lawnmower. It's real simple. So, especially these supers. Um, very easy to work on. Very easy to tune. But these, these super 80s, once you get the correct jet and you get it tuned where it needs to be, you shouldn't have to touch the thing again. Now, the last... 
four or five years I've had this bike, I always have to carry around a screwdriver with me because nobody jetted it right. Yeah. And it either will make it the whole season on the on the setting I leave it at, or it won't. Right. Well, last year it did great up until came time to park it, and it wasn't either. It was just throwing a tantrum because it wasn't done yet, or it was pissy. Either way, it didn't like it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be coming up real soon. I've got to, we've got to get your truck in and cut the rockers out of it. Put uh, new rockers on. My car, the front struts and the rear strut or shock mounts are making all sorts of fun noises. Which we have to fix before uh, the clash. Yeah. In October, which is going to come faster well, than we're prepared for. <laughs> Um, Mike says, I'm going to get off of here. I have Tori for the weekend, so I'm going to spend time with the kiddo. I'll go get a hold of you soon. All right. Have a good night, Mike. Well, tell Enjoy her your time. Hey. Yes. Tell her the weird guy with the lighted sign says, hey. <laughs> right. You know what? You know what would be cool when I make my next sign? Because it'll look way better than that. It'd be kind of cool to just like do a giveaway and give that away. Maybe. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Or okay. I'll just hang it in the shop. You could do that, too. That's an idea. You could do that, too. I don't know. What do you guys think? There's uh, 11, 11 people. <laughs> We've been kind of fluctuating yeah. through the hours, though. So. I, I don't ever really anticipate high numbers. <laughs> I mean, I think... At the peak or at least the highest that I have seen it was 15 and it's kind of fluctuating and right. I get it. There's other people that are alive there's and people on there's better content. On. Well, it I is mean... just us, but you know what? We're cool. <laughs> well, we try to be, I made that. <laughs> I made all of this really, but especially that I am on camera bleeding for this tank. Yeah. You really are, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike said, I'll get a bike and we can set our own club. We'll call it Sons of Arthritis. Yeah. He doesn't have arthritis, though. I yes, do. I, do. Uh, I have arthritis. Sons of get that fuck off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, keep that shit alive. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Ooh, I yelled that at somebody the other day. Like, hey, pick your trash up. Yeah. Kid looked at me. I was like, I'm not picking it up. You do it. Yeah. You put it there. <laughs> I had a coworker the other day who is much younger than me. Another coworker pissed her off. And just without even thinking, I yelled, get off my lawn. And she goes, that right there. Get off my lawn. And I was like, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm the one at work when people start acting bitchy. Everybody's like, Jessica, go take care of them. I'm like, come on, man. It would be kind of cool to give that away because I could actually ship that. Yeah. Or maybe if. Anybody does an auction and isn't afraid of pet, pet, uh, tetanus. tetanus? <laughs> I don't know. It's completely handmade. I think it's cool as shit. I love it. I do. But I immediately have bigger and better ideas. Of course. So I think the next sign I'm going to make is going to be near that size but i don't need the timing chain that i welded to it to hang it you can actually hang it off that board and then you won't see the board uh because that looks stupid i don't think it does and i did have the camera lower and you said no and we moved it back and so yeah way who and way <laughs> whatever so the next batch i do i'm going to do a a sheet of steel 
and I'm going to paint it black and I'm going to drill holes through it for letters. Um, it's basically going to say the same thing, but I can curve it and then I'm going to uh, cut chunks of pipe. Yes. And I'm going to plasma cut the letters out and I'm going to take the letters and weld them to the pipe and then I'm going to have LEDs behind the letters and they're going to shine on the backboard basically and then I'm going to wire them all in and it's going to look like a professional in it I, I, rather I kind than of some see guy it. in a shop in 20 minutes well in my head it looks fantastic in my head. That one looked fantastic in my head, and, and in person, it looks like utter shit. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that it does, but... But I'm into doing stuff like this. I love just making raw crap, but make it functional raw crap. Yeah. Like, we got a, a, we've got pistons and, and rods out of an engine. I was going to make Trevor like a table or something well what did you do with that one situation with there was all kinds of stuff that you had and you made some kind of statue out of it and i told you i wanted to turn it into a clock oh, because it was it. like a gear and a timing chain and i still got it i told you i wanted to get the stuff to turn it into a clock and yeah, add a battery you know pack to it facebook saw that and now people are making clocks out of timing gears well See what I, happens when I come up with an idea. Okay, but see, here's the thing. <laughs> I told you it would be really cool to make it into a clock, and you were like, no, that's stupid, and you, like, completely moved it to where uh, I had no control. I like, uh, I like, uh, I, I kept a lot of timing chains out of stuff that I've done, and I'm going to make a sissy bar for the Harley. Yeah. And I just need... I don't even know if I can stay this on here. I just need a couple non-firing pistols. I don't care if they're show pistols or what. I just need a couple. They can be cap guns for all I care. Um, I'm going to make a really wicked sissy bar and put it on my fat boy. Mike, who said he was going to leave is still making comments. Go uh, spend time uh, with your baby, go sir. See your kid. Go spend time with your daughter. <laughs> she's not a baby anymore, but no, like she's not. Go spend time with your daughter, that sir. Kid grew up quick. She well, don't they all? Mm -hmm. You do you realize our baby is going to be 18 at the right. end of this year? Our baby. Yeah. It's fine. Our baby. Everything's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Oh, boy. But anyway. Tell you what, though. I've, I've got a lot of junk stuff laying around on purpose. I've got camshafts. I've got pistons, uh, rods, just timing chains, timing gears, just random stuff. Uh, the next engine that I get, I'd like to make a, like a nightstand out of it would be full but i don't want to carry it up the stairs because even though it's a gutted engine block it's, it's still, still gonna be heavy. freaking pounds right or more it's still gonna be heavy i could mill it this is the same guy that is saying he doesn't want to carry all this stuff but yet he bought a TV stand with a fireplace heater in it that we're supposed to pick up this weekend yeah. that has to go upstairs. I didn't say I wanted to carry it. <laughs> How else is it going to get up there? Are you well, going to call the fire gonna, department? Going to have to freaking carry it. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want it either. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, at least it's not another big fit. I would rather carry this stand than a 150 gallon aquarium. That, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that that 55 sucks. gallon that we had to take to the basement well, wasn't, wasn't exactly easy. That wasn't bad at all compared to that one or that one. I think that one that probably. Or hell, even that. Well, one. I mean, but, I think that probably would have been easier had it not had all that substrate in it. But she left us the substrate. Yeah, right. And so it made it a little bit heavier. But 
Oh, yeah, we forgot about that. We got another tank. We have a 55 gallon. So the 55 gallon came with the two parrots and the Jack Dempsey. And so we're probably going to use that 55 gallon as like a quarantine tank or a garage tank because we do have fish that breed. And so obviously most of the time you want to get those uh babies out and away from the parents and the other fish so that they don't get eaten um so it's right now it's in the basement but mini metalhead and i got it out of the back of my truck and into the house and we got it as far as the basement and she wasn't able to help me get it down the stairs so then josh had to help me get it down the stairs and into the basement but um it was kind of like a whole package deal. I had to take the fish and the tank and everything that came with them. Epiphany. <laughs> what? I can utilize that 55 gallon on the new pond I want to build. As a pump. As you could. Filtration. But you could. But I could do it with like pothos. We could put plants. Uh -huh. Yeah, make it a natural, yeah. and then you just have to. I, yeah, I, I'm totally going. I'm not even going to lie. I'm. I've been. I'm already on record saying this. I'm totally going to rip off Jeremy from Aquarian Domains' idea. I'm basically going to rip his whole idea <laughs> off for that big thirty thousand gallon tank or whatever it is, the thirty six footer he built. Um, and I'm just going to chop it in half and make it wider and i'm totally ripping his filtration idea off too. i'm basically everything he did i'm gonna do except carry all that rock screw that oh my god <laughs> mike said do a custom slip knot license plate for my car um he's gonna have to do one for my truck first and fuck your car <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's basically, that's going to, okay, so I'm not, obviously, we've all seen my build quality. It's not great. Um, it's not terrible either, though. Uh, but Jeremy's basically my main motivation for the pond I want to build. I don't really want to build sections like he's got, he's got this section here and then he's counting on so many fish hanging out over here and then he's got this and then he's got that uh uh what do you call that the uh like the pier that he built in there and then he's got some other stuff uh, i might not get that elaborate with it i basically want my huge fish to live yeah and i want to give them plenty of room uh, but I like what he did with that. I like how he designed that to become an ecosystem. And I'm totally ripping off the idea. So no. it's not going to be a nobody's ever done this before kind of thing. Because uh, that's absolutely false. And I've already told him I'm stealing your idea. He already knows it. He's not going to be surprised, and I don't think he's going to be upset. So, but I love his idea. I love what he did there. And I just thought, well, hey, instead of making it long, because I clearly do not have the room for that, um, I can, however, make it almost as wide. So, I have 15... I have 15 feet I can play with lengthwise. And I also have about nine feet that I can play with. Nine or ten feet. I measured it up. I'll have to do it again. But I have nine or ten feet that I can play with widthwise. And then if I build the walls up to the same level he did, I'll have some serious gallons down there. There will be a sinkhole under my house by the time I'm done. <laughs> there might already be one. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, I'm saying it. I'm totally, totally ripping off his idea. And that should be a form of flattery, honestly. 
I'm pretty sure he sees it that way. Well, even he said he was stoked to see what I do. I'm now I gotta do it. <laughs> but we had the the pond. I want to build outside. Again, it might just have to wait uh, because because the the way I look at it is I've got one fish down there now. I've got another fish that's going to be ready soon and potentially a third one because I'm pretty sure that gar is an alligator. I'm pretty sure that it's not the Florida gar. It's not the right color. He looks color and tint wise looks just like split did when he was that size. I just, I, I'm kind of thinking I might have two alligator guards. Well, uh, same demeanor and everything. Yeah. But so I want to, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a better priority to put the uh, basement pond in action first before worrying about in the backyard, digging a pond and doing all that stuff back there. Uh, that's just kind of the way I'm looking at it right now. So that'll probably, probably be happening sooner rather than later. Because I need to get on that. The only sucky part is I'm going to have to catch Split and put him in a temporary enclosure. And he didn't like being caught at a foot and a half. Uh, now that he's almost three feet, he's really not going to like being caught. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this ought to be fun. Uh, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll make something up for him on the other side of the basement. It'll at least give him somewhat of a decent run uh, while I'm in the process of tearing the pool back down and doing what I need to do down there to make that. It ought to be fun. But uh, the nice thing is I don't need 50,000 tons of rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't know. Nobody is actually going to be able to see this, but um, Grant from the Garden of Eater had posted a photo of some new skate bowl kits that they, him and Shelby got from Fluval. And so they tested out their own scapes. I'll show you. If you look at that, can you determine which one you think Shelby did and which one Grant did? It's really hard to explain it, and because the camera is so far away, I can't really show you guys, but if you follow... Shelby, I would say Shelby probably did the one on the right. On the right. Uh -huh. That one. Yeah. No. Shelby did that one, which oh. is the one I said Shelby probably did. Okay, well, um, that's hell I don't know. I wasn't there. Well, I, I have witnessed, and Shelby likes that more natural... Um, but I've seen her do stuff like that. She she does both. But anyway, um, long story. Nice about her. Yes, she can do a mix of both. Mm -hmm. But long story short, Grant had posted on their Garden of Eater page on Facebook this the two scapes that they did, and I said, "Hey, I'm pretty sure based on what I've seen Shelby do in person because I've seen her scape in person several times." Um, I'm pretty sure this is the one she did, and I was actually correct. So I'm gonna play with this now. See, I just I wanted it to be red. But you but can't see the lettering with the red. You can't see it. Uh-uh. But you can see it with this. Oh, that one lights it way up. Look at that. But it I mean <laughs> that looks cool. Too I'm sorry, guys. I'm playing with it. <laughs> to be fair, the wall that is hanging it against is like this room is blue. Uh, it needs something by um, it. There's blue. It looks purple. Right. There's purple. It looks purple. This there's, this whole room is blue. Green. So that's green. And you can kind of see it, but well, you can not. clearly see what that says though. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's fun. I like that sign I do. I can also give everybody 
spasm. Now I see what you mean. This camera is tweaking. Yeah. Or I can do this. Okay. Or I can do this. <laughs> there you go. And then it just kind of does its own thing. Which is what you had it on, but you had it on no, a slower pace. I, I pace. did it to do it that way. The gradual. It's, it's gradual. It's, it's not like a click, 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 you know. Right. Yeah. Or I can, I can give everybody freaking if you're epileptic please turn away how do they do that last time I he's about that. to flashbang everybody with these stupid lights oh wait yeah we can do it like this oh god this is gonna hurt yeah not <laughs> not a fan check that shit out yeah <laughs> again all right stop it stop it slow there you go. Anyway. I don't remember where it was at, but there we go. Yeah, see? That can be yours. Um, eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. Can you slow that down? That is still too fast. It's not. It is. Go back to the gradual. There. That's better ish anywho yeah still 11 people watching we're just sitting here fucking with a sign we're just being dumb at this point <laughs> like we have literally ran out of shit to talk about well i mean we got plans yeah we do mm -hmm. we do whether or not they happen right totally different story Ooh. I mean, I guess I could say, even though he's not in the chat, I can say Rico gave me some goodies when we were at the Clash last year, and they are breeding oh, and yeah. making babies, which is awesome. We're going to probably have um, to fire up those other two little tanks to put some Yeah, of and I'm going to have to probably get to the point where I start giving them to other people like Rico is doing because goodies are on the cares list. So it's really important to keep them breeding and keep them circulating to kind of get them back into proper population, I guess, for lack of a better way to say it. Well, um, anytime you have a carrot fish, if you have one that's, or if you have a, a fish that's breeding like that, uh, it's good to keep them going. It's yeah. good to keep them going. So, it, you know, if you pass a few, the problem that you have when you do that. Is if they if they get put in a tank with other fish to where they could be eaten? Well, yeah, they they can either be eaten or they can potentially breed with others, and then you don't have a solid line anymore. Right. See what you've got in there is a solid line. What? I mean, I'm pretty sure I do because the I've got the goodies, and then I have the rice fish that. Kelly Foreman gave me, oh, but the, the rice fish are also breeding, but you can tell they are rice fish. Like you can tell the difference between the two. And I don't I think don't they're interbreeding. I, I don't think they even think can. That good is that rice fish would intermingle. I don't uh, think so. But you got to be careful with it's and I mean, insane. it's not like I don't have other tanks that I could not, you know, I, I could separate them. Um, but the rice fish, also rice fish and goodies, I can put back in my outdoor tanks for the summer, in my outdoor ponds for the summer, like I had them last year, and then bring them back in when the weather gets cold again. That's how I did it last summer. Um, and they did great. So... I'm just really excited about the fact because Rico wasn't sure if he had given me all females, all males. He didn't know what kind of mix I had because they were still well, fry at that point. Said hello to somebody. <laughs> in there. They keep saying hello to somebody. In there. They were still fry at the point that Rico had given them to me. I'm to the point I'm making flower horns. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, pretty... they're not fry anymore, and they are. Pretty sure Producing. I'm making flower horns at this point. We'll yeah. see, but I'm pretty sure I'm making flower horns. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be interesting. 
Right. It would, would be interesting. Be, I don't even know how to classify like what breed they are. Other, I mean, obviously they'd be a hybrid. But... Right. Well, Aren't they all though? Well, technically, no, no, they really. Aren't all flower horns technically a hybrid because uh, they're a flower mix? Flower horns are, but I'd have to do my research to determine what I could actually classify them as. And that's if this was successful. Right. Um, and we don't know if it's going to be. The way she is guarding, though. And he is, too, though. Makes me think they might have successfully bred. And that was completely, again, completely unintentional. By accident. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who knows? That'd be kind of cool. I'd make my own flower horns. Hey, yeah. make your own flower horn kit. All you need is a red devil and a bud parrot. Yeah. There you go. Are they going to be show quality? Probably not. No. But they're going to be cool. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to want one? Probably. Maybe. If you do, I know a guy. Right. <laughs> um, not that you probably care, but uh, follower count is going down again. Watch count, whatever you want to call it. Well, we've been on just an hour and about stuff. So right. <laughs> An hour and 17 minutes. All so, right. well, whatever we'll, you want to do. We'll go ahead and shut her down for the night. So, Oops. Wherever that went. Under the bar. Oh. Uh, anywho, anyway, thank you guys for popping in. We appreciate it. We had fun hanging out with you guys. Uh, when will I be on next? Who knows? Uh, I don't. <laughs> but we will be on again. Uh, if you're on the TikTok land, we may or may not pop in tonight or tomorrow or who hey, no, knows. No. I don't. I'm not going by a schedule anymore. Nope. I just do it when I want. Yep. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> if and you're not following me, you should be. Well, yeah, there you go. What Matt said, if and you're not following, you should be. Oh, <laughs> Lord. He should have trademarked that because yeah, everybody's going to use yeah, it we now. We all rip that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Love you, Stoner oh, Speaking Gump. of Jeremy, his ears must have been burning. Oh. I was telling everybody how I was ripping off your pond idea. We were fixing to sign uh, off, sir. Totally stealing your pond idea. I think you already knew that, though. We're for art. Okay, dokie. <laughs> well, I'm not totally stealing your idea because I am not hauling that much rock. No way. <laughs> okay. But thank you guys for coming in and hanging out with us, giving us something to talk about. We gave you guys something to talk about. Maybe next time we'll give each other more things to talk about. Maybe. <laughs> he said steal away. He did. <laughs> well, the, the concept, uh, the filtration, I'm very, I paid very close attention to that. Uh, I want to do that same filtration. Yes. And just kind of widen mine instead of lengthen it. Uh, it I think it'll be cool. Um, but I want to make it big enough for some monsters because I've got some monsters growing and I've got a monster in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, thank you all for coming. I miss you guys so much. I'm glad you still come and hang out with me. Um, I will try to pop in more. I will try to do more videos. Uh, Yeah, just, we're going with the flow with it right now, but uh, you guys know this. This is just another evolution. That's all. Yep. So until we meet again, later. <laughs>